Hello everybody, this is Blue Batona, and welcome to episode number 24 of Let's Play Rome Total War as Carthage Campaign, uh, where we left off last time, we took Batavium, uh, and we also, unfortunately, at the same time, contracted the plague, and so did our very valuable Korean archers, um, which is, yeah, hugely unfortunate, but... There's nothing we can really do about that. Uh, it We just have to sit here and, you know, I guess we might as well move them in the city. They all have the plague anyway. So we might as well move them in the city, and we will just kind of let this plague run its course. Um, we did build the baths. Um, I guess we could... I'm sorry, we built the sewers. I guess we could build the public baths here. Uh, no point in retraining yet. Uh, full disclosure, yeah, if you saw my announcement, this is coming out a day late uh, on the channel because I just crazy busy week at work, and then uh, today I had my fantasy football draft at night, or fantasy baseball draft at night, and had a few brews during that. This should be a fun one. We'll see how it goes. Um, we also are uh, getting very close to actually launching an invasion of Greece, which has been a long time coming, probably starting with Rhodes for that good naval trade boost. And um, you can see a pretty powerful army here, really high quality units. Can go meet up with, uh, you know, we got some mercenary units, some slingers, some Cretan archers, and uh, we should be able to take care of the uh, Greeks pretty well. And then in this region, um, we are under siege here, but this is uh, definitely a winnable siege. We have a pretty good force in the settlement, including some skirmishers to fire over the walls, and we are starting to maneuver some more high quality units, uh, not those guys, <laughs> but the rest high quality units over into this territory. So let's go first things first, um, and we'll do this little uh, rebel battle here against these rebels that have been sitting in Italy for a little bit, led by Thiaes the Mad, who is now our faction leader, very rightfully so if you ask me. And let's go hit this guy. I'm not even gonna. Oops, I'm not even gonna try how to pronounce that name. I'm not even gonna attempt it. But this is gonna be just, or it should be, a curve stop. All right. Um, we, got, we got a good, a good contingent here of Poeni infantry that will make up our front line with some uh, skirmisher units behind them. And then we have quite a hefty casualty, uh, cavalry contingent here, led by uh, Thiaes and the other general. And uh, we do have Onagers as well, but uh, they're going to set up far out of range of our Onagers, so it's not even worth uh, dealing with them and moving them. Um, let's also take these guys off of Phalanx formation. We'll group these units together, and let's just go ahead and move in formation to... Not there. That will work. And then group one with the cavalry. You can move out there and let's get everyone going. Alright, they're maneuvering a bit. I might be able to take out this whole army with my cavalry. It looks like it's just their cavalry and a bunch of ranged units and um, peasants. So, honestly... Okay, they're, yeah, they're starting to peel back. I was say, honestly, we might just charge in with our cav, but... Uh, they did peel back, so we'll let our line actually get into position. There we go. Uh, some of the Peltis... Okay, good, they're in range. Some of the Peltis have opened fire. That'll be good just to gain some XP. Just peasants. So... Uh, should be pretty uh, pretty easy. We'll get spears down on most of these guys. Now that we are within range, we'll be getting fighting. There we go. Phalanx spears are down. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, you know, if they just want to sit here and get showered by my, uh, what's it called, by my, um, Peltis. I mean, they're more than welcome, you know? It's totally fine with me. We'll maneuver our men a little bit forward. Regain range, get our Poenis in position. All right, there they come. Cavalry, why don't we move in now? Yeah, all the, all these Peltis should be opening fire, yeah, just demolishing that unit. Let's go after the Velites and Air Cavalry. Most of this force, yeah, can be taken completely out with Cavalry, so it's it's even their general is just an Equites unit, so why don't we just honestly charge right in on that. Generals, you can go after the Velites. This should be a mass route. All right. You guys, halt your firing. 
go after them. Go after them. We'll let this finish off. Yeah, all right, there we go. We got their general. As enemies, these men are perfect. Yeah, I'll go wipe the rest of these guys out because it should be a piece of cake. And their general will you can feel the battle pretty quickly. Yeah, there's the border. Nice and easy. Any second now. There we go. Alright, last guy's down. Nice easy fight. What we lose? Three guys, one by friendly fire. Okay. Nothing too bad. Victory! Alright, em enemy army routes, that's what we wanted. And so we can Mighty keep these guys now moving, and they will uh, jump over uh, the little strait right here to Apollonia. Um, take the city, and then they can maneuver south after, I think this is that Thaps, uh, Thurman, uh, towards Thurman. And we can get that pincer move going with the Greeks. So these guys have already moved, Do we have, no, no Cretans to recruit this turn. And uh, here in the north, yeah, this guy does not have the plague, right? No, he does not. Uh, we do yeah, want to take out their chance. assassin, though, so let's go ahead and do that. 95% chance. Easy. Easy hit. And then we'll do south. Okay, there's a nice, sizable Julii force, but it's mostly town watch. I mean, again, it's so weak, you know? Um, here's our other two assassins. 79% chance on a family member in a city. Uh, boom. All right, easy. I mean, we have just decimated... Uh, the Julii family members. We gained another skill assassin. level, and this 31-year-old assassin, very, very good. Just exceptional assassin. And maybe we'll move him down here towards Greece, and then this assassin, who's really bad. Uh, maybe we can try to get him something... Temp fails. No, I was going to say something to up his skill, but unfortunately, it doesn't quite seem like that's in the cards. But that's okay, we did uh, finally sail. sort out the I, Adriatic, so sire. we can get these I, navies uh, in Tacoma in other regions. We've basically defeated. cleared, Ships we really ready. have done pretty well clearing most of the um, yes, seas. There, there really aren't any yes, enemy uh, fleets sire. that are, you know, blockading ports or, or causing any issues for us, at least in the Mediterranean. And, Obviously, we have a, a pretty Ships sizable ready. blockade force here, blocking the Straits of Gibraltar, and that does its job pretty well. One unit, not a general uh, peasant army. Sire. I think it's time for some Iberian infantry to Attack. go get some work in. Now is oh, this is funny. It's a bridge battle. Oh, they didn't even guard the bridge. That's pretty hilarious. All right, what's the unit that we got over here? Ooh. Oh no, are these those really good Spain? Is that, is, that, is that that really good Spanish infantry unit? They might actually have a shot here against my, uh, against my Iberians. Let's see. Let's see what happens. We'll come and set up a line. Long, narrow line over here. Yeah, we're still warmed up. If we get too winded, yeah, I'm just gonna let it rest for a minute. Regain some of our uh, stamina. warmed up. There we go. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is we'll have two units basically charge right at them. One unit go to the right, and yeah, one unit let's see if we can't hit that left flank. And we're just going to try to surround them here and hope that that works. Hope for the best. Yeah, Spanish mercenaries. Yep, there goes their Pila. It is that really good Spanish unit. So let's just charge in immediately. Might have underestimated these guys, I'm going to be honest. This unit is, uh, is, is notoriously strong. Alright, we're going to try to hit him from a bunch of sides here and hope that that's enough to do it. Yeah, we got them pretty much wholly surrounded. Our front unit... Oh god, they're looking like a Pila throw again? No, come on. Come on, guys. Yeah, we should get them here. I mean, there are 51 of them left. They're completely surrounded. Down to 40. Yeah, they're dropping pretty quick. They took out that main unit, our, our captain's unit, pretty heavily with the peel throws. But that, you know, the other units were able to uh, move around the side. The only worry is here if the captain dies, 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I might get a morale hit. They do only have 33 left. Alright, I did get their guy now. If they route... No, I routed. Well, isn't that a bummer? Alright. Uh, kind of funny. I mean, you know, again, if I didn't route... They, had, they were gonna route. Yeah, it's just, uh... Run for your lives! Oh, yeah. moves, great lord. Oh, alright. Uh, should we just do it? Should we have some fun? Orders? Orders? Mighty General. Let's go. Attack! Thousand peasants. Thousand peasants against them. The enemy... Alright, they're in the same spot. Not a surprise. Peasant units. Let's come form up. No, how long of a how much of a space do you need to form up? Wow, a lot of space apparently. That's really funny. Alright, we're gonna do two lines, two waves almost, like two lines. And the second half here. There we go, get behind them. Look at all these guys. <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh my god. There's what, only like, just 40 of the enemy left? Half, half strength unit? Alright. Central 6. Uh, go ahead and charge. These units on the flank. Flank that side. These units on the flank. Flank the other side. Let's go. Charge! Go, peasants, go! I mean, I know these guys are like an actual professional military unit versus a bunch of peasants, but... You gotta be thinking, looking at this horde just charging you, like, you just gotta think there's no way. I mean, look at how many guys are coming in on you. Alright, yeah, we're gonna surround them here. <laughs> this is funny. Just uh, completely surrounded by peasants, seeing if they can survive. You guys ever wonder if this works in a, in a campaign? Let's see. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna get him. Yeah, we're gonna get him. No way we mass route with this many men and have them completely surrounded. Yeah, it, it, walls are closing in. They're gonna do way more damage, but uh, but it's pretty funny to see to see the endless onslaught of peasants slowly but surely make progress. Like there's just enough of us. That we were gonna take them out. Down to what, the last three? Two? One? Just knocked down? Is there no oh yeah, he was just knocked down. Oh, they actually. Did they actually get my general? Or no, we got there. There we go. Celebrate, presents, celebrate. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, 100 kills to the 40, but we just too severely outnumbered them. Too significantly outnumbered. Glorious victory! Alright, and yeah, you guys get back into Cordoba for public order purposes. Really? Orders? They're actually unhappy here. My liege. My liege. I would have thought they all these peasants would be celebrating Orders? their epic victory. But uh, I guess not. Why don't we get a town militia unit in? And uh, yeah, that's okay. We'll, we'll bump that public order up back next turn when we get uh, militia into the settlement. Dimity doesn't like me though. Um... Alright, Dimity, that's kind of annoying. The reason I'm trading Iberians there instead of peasants is because it is kind of on its own and it needs to have at least somewhat of a self sustaining fighting force. You know, it can't be just like completely left out to dry. Um, Alright. We also My have quite Lord. a fleet here. Let's just do some exploring in the Mediterranean, make sure there's Most no one left. Sire. Doesn't look like there is. Okay, so this sire. army. We could turn and hit this rebel settlement. It's mostly peasants and warband. Pretty weak. Um, they do have some rebel, ca or some cavalry, barbarian cavalry with a rebel general. Could also go after this twenty-four-year-old 
Britain army and break the siege that is super vulnerable right now and maybe just go take out a Britain family member and I think on the open field and I think that's what we're going to do. We'll also lift the siege, that's okay, because this is basically a guaranteed kill on a family member. So those are just heavy chariots we don't have to deal with down the road. This will be on my orders. Yeah, so we're going to do a normal thing. Yeah, general with the units with the cavalry, massive bolt. Slingers, why don't you position on the side so you get a better angle to shoot? And then I think this is going to be their ranged. Yeah, their ranged chariots with one weak unit and their general. So why don't we. Why don't we move our cavalry to the other side? Infantry. Just charge forward. And, uh. Slingers, why don't you position like back there? We're just gonna. We should just kind of be able to charge in on them. You guys go ahead and charge in on the war bands. Let's get you firing at the warlord. Yeah, because we can swarm these ranged units. Alright, there we go. Let's just go make sure we take out the Warlord. Everybody on the Warlord. Yeah, even the Slingers are taking shots in on them. There we go, we got it. Alright. Slingers, you can stop. Actually, Slingers, can you take out the rest of those guys? Let's see. Right through the big trees. Come on, hit them. No, nope, didn't get any hits. Ah, that's too bad. Infantry, why don't you chase after the warband unit? Oh, we got one with the slingers. There we go. A couple round shield units. Why don't you just uh, peel out and take them out? And there we go. We did get a hit on these guys up front. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I imagine they won't be able to hold up too long. Yeah, we're going to get most of them here. I don't really need to chase these guys down because that unit is going to... Yeah, we're going to take them out. So that unit's going to disperse without the general, but may as well get rid of them. And then general, you can go get the remainder of the XP. Let you guys clear the path for them. There we go. Victory! All right, it just was worth it. Guaranteed, eliminated general. You gotta take that. And that's just one less obstacle to deal with down the road. And honestly, we can we can decide what we want to do here because we do actually have you know like a force that is you know capable. Coming up this way, and we got some more men following. Um, here we have twenty-four year old. A 24 year old, we could go and position him in support of the siege up here. Get another general's bodyguard, you know, a heavy cav. Uh, we also have Bomokar over here. Um, why don't we just focus on continuing to. Let's just continue to train up you know, quality units in the Italian realm where we can, uh, that we can then pull over to fight in Britain and Gaul, um, when, you know, we're, we're eventually, you know, we're definitely going to need them there. And then there is this whole force as well. Uh, yeah, this force was going to go ahead and leapfrog the city that has the plague and move on... The Julia in this region, it's led by 33-year-old Tabnit Barcino, or Barcino. And we have one more, we have space for one more man. Um, one more unit. What do we want to put in the place there? We could... Yeah, I guess let's just bring in another Poeni unit. Go follow along with the army and they'll join in. Yeah, then we have the skirmishers there. Um, so we'll have four units of skirmishers. I don't think I need more than that. 
All right. So this region's pretty set. The Stiegi's army move is moving to the port. Lord, they can pick up... No, they don't have any space to pick up anyone. I was going to say they could pick up the long shields, but we don't actually have space for that. That's okay. And, uh, yeah, this, these guys are going. So what else do we have? Ah, yes, we are under siege here in Cyrene currently. We do have a pretty good garrison. Lacking on infantry, but we have plenty of ranged units. Actually, lacking on cavalry and infantry. They have very weak unit rosters here, though, other than the two generals. Um, so I think I should be able to defend it. Let's do a quick look through the list scroll before we decide to move on. Tabium Spy, yeah, he has the plague. Diplomat. Let's try to go over towards where we know Dacia used to be at the very least. Maybe it's, it's Germania now. This Spy, go back in the Siwa. Assassins are good. Yeah, he already used his stuff. Alright, all those guys are good. I hit the wrong button. Yes, good, 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 good. Yeah, we kind of took care of all the navies here in the Adriatic. It's good enough. I guess we can decide what we want to do with him. Ah, this one navy. We don't have an admiral right now. Why don't we go join up with them? Alright, you got the plague. You're good. You're good there. Good there. Good there. Good. Carthage. We get two things we need. We need the Carthage then as well. Blockading under siege. You're fine. That's just the fairy fleet. You're good. You're good. You're good. 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 All right. Two things we had to look at. One, first and foremost, this army. Do we want to advance north or do we want to return and go lay siege to Lamonum? Um, why don't we? March. Yeah, why don't we press ahead here? Even though I, I'm kind of screaming not to. Let's Prepare go after Condate Re Redonum. Move, and we'll let... Why don't we move these guys to the other move side of the bridge? We'll let this My kind of reinforcing general. army. They can go after that city. Maybe we bring Bulmokar out of Narbo Martius uh, to actually move lead out. that force. Because Narbo Martius is very happy anyway. Um... And that, yeah, that's that that works. The, the, the two armies moving now. And here in Carthage, yes, we did move um, this guy back to come manage the settlement because of all of his very good traits and the amount of admin income that we're going to be able to get in a city as valuable as Carthage. Um, but we don't need these guys here. So, uh, does he have Tudor? He does not. Let's actually transfer Tudor over. I got, oh, right, I couldn't. The additional management account. Alright, but he has Gourmet of Life and Understanding Logistics. He could be a general, 16 years old. Superior commander. This guy's definitely a general. Um, so what we probably should do Mighty general. is Mighty take these general. two generals and move them somewhere where they're going to be a little bit more useful. I'm thinking again, the Greek theater, although we do already have one, two, three, four generals moving in the theater. Five, if you include six, I guess, if you include the Aegis and Himsal over there. But there are so many settlements, so many cities, it doesn't hurt to have a couple extra on the front line. So why don't we take these guys? Can we move them out of the city without getting mad? Yeah, we can. And why don't we just move port to port here uh, to be nice and safe with them. And we'll, we'll move them to the front. We'll train up one more trireme there for uh, ferry purposes because we're moving the other fleet out. And we can continue with that. In the meantime, let's look at some economic buildings. Anything economically beneficial that we can build. Maybe dockyard in Rome. Not really worth it. Um... Cydonia is about to finish the ship right, which is going to be great. It's going to add 1,300 to trade income, which is just absolutely absurd. Um, just a ridiculous amount of trade income. Yeah, we got 4,000 to spend, so maybe look at like some of these settlements. I want to do like baths just to combat the plague, sewers. I want a ship right here. Up like about 300. Yeah, we'll do the ship right there. That's fine. 
And let's go to next turn. All right, Julia's mobilizing what little armies they have left. A suitable husband, 26 years old with good commander. Yeah. Sure. Oh, no. All right. Siegis was faction leader for, I think, literally two turns. He passed away. Um, but that is actually where we got the new family member. We can retrain him. My lead. And yeah, go ahead and get to the port. No more moves, sire. Sire. Where did he go? Orders. Orders. What just happened? There was a weird retraining option outside of the city. I didn't really think it through, and I clicked it. And then he disappeared. Um, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> okay. Um, well then. That's fine, I guess. Very strange. Um, Alright, we got Theatocles the Conqueror is our is our faction heir. I have no idea what just happened. And Bulmokar is our faction leader. Yeah, Bulmokar deserves it. He's been good and loyal for a while. Um, Kydonia got the ship right. Nice. Financially, yeah, projected profits is 1100, which is great. New faction leader, Bulmokar the Conqueror. That's a much better name than Thea Yee's Mad, if you ask me. Uh, we still have... Um, no, we don't. Uh, well, actually, if the city doesn't have the plague anymore, but the characters do. Um, kind of interesting. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and move this force across into Julii territory. Where'd that army go? There they go. Can I get... Get him, the family member? No! 68% chance, and my assassin is slain by bodyguards. Um, no citizens or soldiers killed, though, so maybe next turn it'll be all wrapped up. And then, yeah, we basically just kind of treaded water. Is this my really good one? No, that's my really bad one. Where's my really good one? Really good assassin. Why don't we... Why don't we just take out a captain on the way up? For the success rate, and then we'll keep going up to kind of where that army was. 15, Jesus, this guy stinks. 15% chance on a captain. That is just terrible. Um, this guy, okay, so they're going to cross the straits next turn. Why don't we get navies in position for the inevitable Greek naval fight? And then, alright, our army has now reached land, officially. Over here, very, very strong army. Cretan archers will, I think, basically just put it over the top. Make it way too valuable. Or powerful. Why, why can they not join that force? There we go. Alright. Yeah, and then these guys get back into Kydonia. Um, so this force is uh, super strong. And they're going to be ferried over to uh, Rhodes, where we will begin the attack on the Greeks next turn. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, they're ready to go. It's going to be great. These guys down here uh, are still laying the city under siege. They should have some siege engines at this point, so I'm expecting that to take place soon. Uh, the Britons broke the siege here in Lugdunum. We can use our uh, assassins here to move north. We can actually start to make some progress on these guys over here. We got some good units with a good infantry unit moving into this force, which is now, you know, actually usable. Uh, why don't we go ahead and start the march over of additional 
you know, quality units here, because that's one thing that we sorely been lacking in the um, Britannia uh, realm of this campaign so far. And yeah, hopefully this army can then mobilize next turn. Since I don't think units are going to be dying anymore, let's go ahead and we should be able to retrain up some of these units. There we go. And why don't we go ahead and train in a new Cav as well. Mediolanium, Poenis here. Why don't we get a Spy going. Uh, here, why don't you do cavalry? No, Obriminum does cavalry, sorry. You do poems. And yeah, another poem. Alright. And then. I kill to please. Cool. Yeah, I just can't wait to get going against the Greeks and stuff. It's gonna be fun. I just want these. I'm a little worried about the siege. That might be a little tough one because I got some pretty weak units in that city. We're gonna be really relying on our range. Uh, you guys, go ahead and get back into Cordoba. It's actually wild that Cordoba can't retrain. Ship right here, would that provide any value? Eh. Not really. Maybe communal farming is what we want to do here. I know I shouldn't really be boosting population growth in the settlement, but... Maybe market? Yeah, why don't we do market? Market sounds good. I'll upgrade the market. Oscar. Up your tax rate a quick. What about shipwright for you? That's a nice boost. Over 300. Yeah, we can do that. Alright. And then over here, yeah, we got... Um, why don't we do one more just basics. Iberian infantry kind of garrison type units. As this force will prepare to move north. We can bring in a barbarian merc if we need it. These were probably the armies that had the city under siege last turn, retreating back. Let's go ahead and put Kandate Radonum under siege. They seem to have picked up some troops. Pick up an extra unit of infantry. And we're back at Kandate Radonum. Hopefully, we don't lose the army completely this time. But if we lose, you know, if we lose the Atticles the Conqueror, he is 60 years old, so it's not as big of a loss as losing a young, you know, promising general, right? Now we can up this to very high tax rate. Absolutely. The race right here on my border. I, I'm probably going to end up at war with Thrace at some point here, aren't I? But first, we definitely want to finish taking out the Julii and eliminate the Romans once and for all. So at the risk of having like a super quick turn, um, I think we've pretty, we're pretty solid in, in what we wanted to accomplish here. Um, Arcturity has the academy. Maybe like Rome. Rome doesn't have any generals though. It's not really worth building an academy. And I mean, we could just do something as basic as like paved roads. We give a little bit of a boost to income, help with troop movement as I pass through the Italian sector. Um, yeah, why don't we just go ahead and do that? That's fine. And then like Mediolanium. All right, you know what? No, instead of Capua. We are going to do the paved roads in Mediolanium because this road extends. This is like a main thoroughfare that we've been using. So that's way more worth it. Yeah, we got pads going. Probably anything else I can invest in? Don't really need the wall. Ooh, Kydonia? It's Kydonia you can give you the wall. Sure. Do some retraining. All right. Is the city still red? I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Getting the peasants now. Alright. Yeah, we got attacked. Again, up here. Just seems like they just keep popping out of nowhere. We'll withdraw back. The siege is broken. Greek city of Thrace. Alright. Nope, that's the sound of a settlement besieged. Oh, they came back to look Dunham. All right, that's fine. Uh, why don't we go ahead and I mean, we could maybe like try. Can we get lucky? Nope, misses target. That's fine. All right, path blocked. 
This guy Julii, diplomat. That's kind of funny. Oh, Germania has this province too. All right, we're gonna try to see if we can find um, Dacia. Recruitment report. Yes. Construction report. Nice. Faction announcements. My Batavian spy died. All right, we did get two new family members as well as a coming of age in Carthage. In Carthage is back up the three generals. Quite hilarious. Family tragedy. All right. Settlement procedure, so I'll end of turn report. Treaded water pretty much again. Alright. So, yeah, we're back up to... to three here. Um, oh, I think this was the guy that got married. I guess he ended up over here. Yeah. And then here is our coming of age. With four management right off the bat. Wow. So maybe I'll just leave him as a governor. Give him all these things and take this guy out to be a, a general. Um, Carthage does not like me, though. We can drop that down a quick tax rate. Okay, so we're back in a situation here. Uh, we could advance. We could also just pull back to the other side Move of the bridge, out. which is what we're going to do. We'll link Orders. up with the other army. Prepare for battle. Why don't we just go ahead and lay siege, get some rams up, and yeah, we'll just link up and move those armies uh, in tandem. You guys, why don't we 25% chance? Oh, oh, Britain Assassin. Alright, didn't see you there. And yeah, we can continue our march of quality units into Britannia. Forward! Mighty General, march! Let's go ahead and Orders, move out. take out these guys, our spy. Lord. Maybe I we want to get a spy up in here. None shall see me out of moves, yeah, we just have a lot of guys walking sire, at once now. Move out. No more moves, sire. Orders, there we go. Move out. Out of moves, a lot of little units, Mighty but General, it's going to be nice march. reinforcements. And yes, no the... Moves, uh, What's it called? Is now officially done. The plague is officially Orders. done. This Mighty. force, why don't we go ahead and let's take that Prepare rebel army battle. out as we start Glorious finally our victory. advance down the Prepare eastern for... Adriatic coast. Where are they set up? Up here? Alright. Let's go after them. And, yeah, elephants, why don't you guard this side? Everyone in position, please. Alright, they really... They really ran out with their cavalry. Oh, it's a militia cav. Ah, okay, we should... Well, we caught them, though. Alright, they just kind of completely wasted their militia cavalry. There we go, we got them. Alright. Cool. And what else do they got over here? Cultists. We might be able to just do this with Cav. Elephants, why don't you move your way in? Yeah, it's like Battle of the Bastards in Game of Thrones. Just a huge amount of cavalry moving in at once, you know? Yeah, and it's going to be a complete mass route on their side. Nice and easy. Here come the elephants. Joining in the fun. Alright, well, very annoying. I, I had some, like, a pop-up happen, and it forced my game... It forced me back to the home screen on my computer, which, like, crashed my game. I, I don't know, it was super annoying stuff. So we had to load the autosave, and we're back to start of the turn, so... Really quickly, why don't we just go through the same string of stuff again, except this time I'm going to try a different assassination mission. Neither one was successful still. Alright, yeah, we're going to take this army all the way back. You're going to lay siege. I really... Take this stupid... Like, I don't know what it is with this computer. Like, I swear to God, like, it just gets these random pop-ups sometimes. Like, it's like... My own computer is like trying to advertise to me. Um, Alright, we're gonna do these million army moves again. 
Moves depleted, mighty lord. Shouldn't take more than a second here. No more moves, sire. Just quite annoying, more than anything else. March. Moves depleted, mighty lord. Mighty general. Move out. Mighty general. All right. March. Moves depleted. There we go. Spy. Okay. And so we'll take the force here, and instead of doing that whole easy battle again, we'll just go ahead and auto-resolve it. Victory! And we'll start moving down the Adriatic coast. And then, alright, we do have some agent actions we can do here. Maybe we can go ahead and weaken 90% success rate. Another family member falls to Basaltes the Killer. Absolutely ridiculously powerful assassin. Um, this guy, yeah, pretty much the opposite. So, he's dead. <laughs> Just terrible. Um, Alright, our Hempsold Honest army can now cross, and much like the start of a uh Eye game, we will attack Apollonia right off the siege. Uh, let's just go ahead and assault it. We have the onagers, so we can go straight in and hit the walls. Alright, onagers at the front. Go ahead and hit the gatehouse. What do they even have in here? Just two units? Looks like a Hastadi in the town center. And I can't tell if that's a... that is a general's unit. Yeah. Definitely a general's unit. Maybe even a faction leader or heir, because it's quite large. So let's just go ahead and let these guys finish off the gatehouse. That was pretty quick. Yeah, our cavalry probably will take this out on their own. But why don't we get a Poeni in here as well for their phalanx. The cowardly enemy have lost the wall. And we'll just let this... Send your troops and take and the yeah, we can get settlement. one unit of spear throwers behind them. Yeah, just reorganizing. That's all. Right, you guys go ahead and form up. Alright, infantry is almost in position. Yeah, what we're going to do with this infantry is just kind of go ahead in here and set up a position. So then why don't we actually take our cavalry and why don't we wind them around so that they come in the back side. So they're not coming in the same side as where my spears are. I think that makes the most sense. Go ahead, spears, and once they're formed up, go ahead and put the spears down, and just go ahead and guard this location. Why are you guys taking- there says they're on run, but they're just walking. So, don't really know what that's about. New units. Yeah, get over here, please. I'm just keeping an eye, making sure that Roman general doesn't move. Hasn't moved yet. Alright. Cavalry, why don't we move our way up the path a little bit? Alright, cool. They're they're in pretty good position now. We can go to normal speed. Alright. Why don't we form up like so? We can advance a little bit. Let's run into position, please. Yeah, my units just don't really want to run when I tell them to run, huh? There we go, it's okay, we're gonna form up anyway. With enough time to go. Yeah, they're not even making a move yet. Skirmishers get into a better position here. And there we go, they do their little reshuffle, and then spears down. And if we just touch the... If we just touch the corner here... Whoa, whoa, what the heck was that? No, no, no. Advance as a unit, please. They're being annoying. 
I want this Poeni Infantry unit to reform, and then please advance to like right there. Can you just do it walking in a line, please? Because once you touch that corner, the enemy general is going to charge you. Alright, I mean, I don't really know what's going on here, but alright, good enough. Cavalry, it's going on the general. Just go ahead and charge. Yeah, my skirmishers will get some shots off. Why is there... Can they form up, please? I mean, come on. Alright, cavalry did just charge into the front of the phalanx, pretty much. My cavalry does not want to come join the fight. Come on, guys. Ridiculous. I mean, come on now. Alright, we're gonna, like, basically use it, lose that unit of Poenis. That's fine, though. Come on, you guys just get in there. Yeah, some of them kind of ran backwards. Like I said, it's part of the course. Alright, we will get them, but it was a bit annoying how we got here. Like, I don't know what all these guys over here are doing. But, uh, there we go. There's their general. Should be almost done, right? One left, zero left. There we go. What an annoying way to do that. But it worked out. So, can't be too upset. Yeah, cheer. Sure away, we took Apollonia. Yeah, this is a path I know well. Um, I know, you know, I know very well as a broody eye player of this game. We'll go ahead and hit that unit. And they escaped that direction. I guess let's go and uh, keep on them. Yes, mighty lord. What up, guys? Lord. How you doing? What is this Navy doing over here? Huh. Where did they come from? Supreme. Oh, I sent them over there to get ready to blockade against Greece. Dyer. Right. Alright, so Apollonia's ours. Nice 10,000 population. Uh, we can actually um, retrain our cavalry here, not our infantry. Well, we can add some weapons and armor onto them, but we cannot actually fully retrain them. Uh, why don't we do a few My liege. Orders. Mighty General. Mighty cavalry General. combos, My although I don't think it's going to matter because, it, yeah, it's it's all for uh, the sake of, um, what's it called, like adding uh, the upgraded weapons and armor to the unit. Um, but we can go ahead and, I guess, we'll just do another long shield then, repair the wall... Temple of Tanit. No. Why can it not be destroyed? That is... That is extremely annoying. Oh, because it's not built yet. Shrine to Tanit. Go ahead and knock down and build the Shrine to Ball. Alright. And in this army, we can go south to Thurman. We can also pincer move up north against the Julii. Although I think our forces up here will be more than capable uh, on their own. And maybe we should, yeah, we'll probably, because we can't retrain the Cretan My archers, so let's just go ahead and combine that into two units, and the one unit of eight Cretans. It pains me, but uh, it's time to let you go. We'll train up one more long shield, because we're a bit cavalry thin with this army, and then we can move with that army starting next turn. Um, cool. All right. So we were in a good position here. There's also two long shield cabs here that we could also ferry over um, to go fight in this realm. So why don't we go ahead and get this expedition started? We have a pretty much fully fledged and ready to go army here. Quite significant, quite large. And we're going to be over the roads, which is, well, quite vulnerable. Um, two units guarding it. So we should be able to get roads and uh, begin an assault on the Greek cities. Which is really, really nice. Uh, our... Your obedient why don't we get you south here? Let's see what's up with Macedon. Because this used to be Macedon, but then Thrace took it over. So I'm thinking Thrace might have swept through the north here. Because 
Like, I don't know what cities Greece has in versus Thrace, you know? Uh, Libyum is not happy. That's okay, they're on high tax rate, so we can just drop it. And then, yeah, honestly, this... Sail. That's four, but now I can pick up two more now, Ships you know? Ready. It's like... Ready to sail. Oh, come on, guys, can we just... Ready to sail. All right. Sail. Um... First of all, definitely 27-year-old. Uh, we can retrain. 27-year-old, you go ahead and get in there. And then we can do Himilcar Tingus, who is basically only good because of his retinue for the management job. Or we can do this guy, 16 years old. He does have a command star, but he also has that starting influence. Um, which is really, really nice. So, like, I'm almost thinking, like, take Himmelkar, you know, and just, let's just transfer his stuff over here. Management and farming output, management trade income boost. See the difference in finances that that made? Now it's down to 31. Discount training post, improved public order. Valor of bodyguards will keep. And personal security will keep because we're gonna probably use him as a general now. But you can go ahead and get in. And yeah, look at those management scrolls that we have here on a 16 year old. Um, literally, management is making us admin management income 650. Wow. I mean, that is just insane. Uh, why don't we go ahead and give him something fun here? I'm thinking like Temple of Ball, but also Royal Cavalry Stables could be really fun. Uh, let's just do the next level Temple of Ball for public order purposes. And uh, why don't we recruit in a Quintream, because now we got four generals on this fleet. I want to make sure it's safe and we're not, you know, not even, not even risking it in the slightest, right? Um, definitely don't want to do that. I just, I can't wait to get to war with Greece. It's actually going to happen now. Onward. Ready to ambush. Oops, not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. No more Cretans. All right, back to Kaidonia you go. What? I didn't want to take all the generals Ready with me because sail. we're not going to garrison Rhodes with the general. We're just going to take these troops and basically swing them right back around through Kaidonia, pick up the other generals, and then invade Greece. I, great Lord, go ahead and mark that unit. All right. So I'm not going to train up another suite of units this turn like I did last turn. Just for finance purposes, it's going to be nice to kind of start building them. Uh, so all these guys are already, you know, already moving, which is good enough. Ends up here, Limonum. Maintain siege. Alright, now we actually, we actually have, like, finances, which is crazy. Why don't we invest in Palma? Palma, shipwright. How does that do, what does that do to your trade? Ups it by almost 400. That works for me. I like that. Ready to sail. This very significant fleet. Yes, my now we're going to move to all of our... We're going to basically move all of our naval assets over to this region now. Because we don't really need them in this region of the Mediterranean anymore. Which is great. Cities are pretty much happy enough. Enough. Happy enough. Across the board. Um, why don't we get one more spy going over here? I feel like that's useful. Mediolanium? Nope, that's not worth it. Why don't we give you up your tax rate another click? You're kind of frontline-ish. I feel like you should, you know, you should be able to maybe train up. Living spearmen aren't really worth it, but why not? Maybe long shield cav. That would be worth it for you guys. And then uh, with 1,200 left, let's do aluminum roads because I think aluminum gives this huge corridor. Uh, from here all the way down the coastline, uh, and then Batavian will next. We'll probably want to get roads as well to connect through this rest of this corridor area here. So uh, that gives us down to ten. The siege is still ongoing here. I would love it if they would just attack me already. And this siege is ongoing as well. Next turn. Did they get attacked me? Britannia did. Oh wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Numidia did. 
Um, Alright, cool. We get to defend the city with all of our ranged units, but we are significantly outmanned on the infantry front, so let's see what happens. Alright. We're gonna have to be really smart with how we uh, do this. So. Ooh, okay, so they are hitting from both sides at once. This side only has the one ram. And a much weaker contingent of units. Okay. Whereas this side has three ram, four rams. But a similarly kind of on the weak side contingent of units. Uh, why don't we get all of our mercenary peltists on this side with the four rams? See what kind of damage we can do. Whereas we're going to take our mercenary horsemen on this side. Like, really? Are these like trees blocking or something? Come on. They will all be on stand and fight. Let's get them to the back of the line. Alright, General and his cavalry with the side with all these rams. We can be positioned here. We can also maybe... Well, we could, yeah, we could also maybe look at sweeping them out of the city. And then we'll decide what we want to do with our infantry. It's just such a weak force. We're gonna really have to rely on our ranged units here. These turns, yeah, I mean, cavalry should be able to do some good damage against a lot of these guys. I'm almost thinking, can I take out, like, this whole side, which is cavalry? Probably not. Alright. These guys should be opening fire soon. Once these rams get close to the front of the... get close to the wall here. Those are archers. General, why don't we get you outside the city? Let's give you the option to uh, be utilized outside the walls here. Alright, these guys are all opening fire now. Yep, doing some nice damage on these rams at the walls. Why don't we move you out that way? Let's see what kind of damage we can do over there. Come on, Peltis. Yeah, keep keep up the fire on them. There we go. Cavalry. Units. Units. Boy, I wish if these cavalry units were full size, we could really do some some good work. All right, let's move me infantry more to the front here. All right, there we go. Yeah, they did just break through. Okay, I, don't, I don't see every animation. Alright, these guys that didn't have as good of an angle. Maybe let's bring you back to city center. Whereas the other two, I'm gonna basically use you to fight here at the front. Alright, there we go. Yeah, they, they're breaking through the walls now. Alright, I get it, I get it. Come on, just let me fight. Oh. The walls belong to the enemy. Look now to See what kind of damage we can do here. Can I catch these guys? Yeah, they didn't even try to run. Completely catch them. We should be able to take those guys out. Take those guys. Alright, I get it, I get it. The walls are falling. Alright, there we go. They routed. Alright, going in the center now. Oh, shoot. The general. Okay, the enemy general came in and hit me here at the gate. This would be big if we could take out the general here. Come on, guys. 
Come on. Come on, 16 left. Get him. There we go. Got an enemy general. Alright, enemy general's running. Alright, all this cavalry. Get in the city center. Yeah, this unit, unit infantry came in. Alright, they're starting to really run now. Yeah, we got this. Oh yeah, we got this. Alright. Good stuff, guys. Way to defend the walls. Got the general. Ooh! My Libyan mercenaries, look at them chasing down these guys. Those archers, I love it. Alright. All these guys are rowdy. Who's not rowdy? Oh, wait a second, what do we have here? General's bodyguard unit. Is this it? Just another general? Oh, there's a bunch of them here. I think that's literally all they have left. I'll just tell my, my guys to all rush up on them, too. See, so get, get both of their generals here in the one battle. Where's their? Which one's their general? Which one looks different than the rest? There he is, over here. My spearmen are right around them. We could get them. There comes the the Libyans. Here comes my cavalry to come support. There we go. Did we just get them? Yeah, we just got them. All right, these Libyans have like no morale, especially with the with the generals down. So. This should be a, a piece of cake. They should route out any second now. All right, we're not going to be stupid with our general. All right, there we go. Right, just get out of there. All right. Nice win. Why is it not over? Is it really because of that unit? They're all routing. Shouldn't this be over? Oh, whatever. It's gonna take an extra second. Alright, there we go. Very nice win. Very nice city defense. Kind of around the ropes there. Glorious victory! Under attack! Hmm. Cord feet. Alright. Okay. Let's go through the cards here. Cyrene is back on its feet as a city. Which is great because it brings in nice income. Yeah, yeah. Enough income. Militia Barracks is training up as well, which is good, so we can actually at least retrain our Iberian infantry and train up some more. War declare, Pontus and the Seleucids, recruitment report. Not too much, mostly retrainings. Construction before it. Much more construction getting done, which is great. Faction announces new family member and some retinues expanded. Um, cool. Most advanced faction is now me. End of term report. We made good money. Yeah, I can see we're back up to like 15k. So that's really nice. Um, and as much as I want to, we are... It is late and we have been playing for quite some time. So why don't we declare war, attack Greece, attack neutral faction, we can get some ladders going here, maybe one siege tower, maintain that siege, go ahead and hit the navy, declare victory, and blockade the port at the same time, and we're at war. And with that... I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, as always, I hope to see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.